My name is Hugh Griffiths, I'm a marine biogeographer for the British Antarctic Survey and I've worked here for about 10 years. Um, my job includes a lot of different aspects from going to Antarctica and sampling from animals from the bottom of the sea to working day to day back in Cambridge trying to work out why you find these animals where you do and plotting them up on maps so we can work out their distributions and what that means for their ecology. I grew up in West Wales and so that was right on the beach so it inspired me from a very young age to be interested in marine biology and I've been a pretty stereotypical marine biologist in that sense ever since then followed on still playing on the beach still playing in rock pools but nowadays I get paid for it. Living and working in Antarctica is like nothing I've done anywhere else in the world before. Living on the ship full time means you wake up in a different place every morning and it might be the open sea or it might be glaciers and icebergs outside your window and you can have seals, penguins, whales all swimming past and it's one of the most amazing experiences you can have in your life but you do have to work very hard when you're down there as well so it's, it's not the same as a holiday or a cruise ship. One of the surprising things about the British Antarctic Survey is the range of science that we do here. We cover everything from terrestrial biology, so tiny little land animals and mites, right through to people who study the whales and seabirds, but that's just the biology side of things. Within our other projects we include people who study climate change, we have people who are geographers who are mapping Antarctic glacial retreat, and it goes right through to people doing atmospheric sciences and even people doing meteorology, so weather predictions from the Antarctic. So it's an amazing place to meet experts in any field of science for Antarctica. To do my job you need a whole range of skills. You need good IT skills, so you need to know how to use different computer programs. You need good lab skills. You need some good common practical common sense in a way because if you're going to be working outdoors and it's icy and cold you need to be able to understand the dangers around you as well as the amazing sights that are going on outside. And You've got to have a sense of humour as well because you're out there in all sorts of conditions and it, it is great fun. If you enjoy that kind of outdoors work, it's the best job in the world. Future challenges affecting Antarctic marine biologists will include how you investigate life living underneath the large floating ice shelves, which currently we know nothing about, and whether we use submersibles or divers to get under these ice shelves. Another major challenge to Antarctic biodiversity is the potential of climate change to affect these animals and as it stands for most of the animals that live on the seafloor we don't even know how long they live let alone how they'll be affected by these changes in the environment. I see this sector developing with increased emphasis on things like new technologies whether it's mini subs, submarines or whether you have genetics technology to be able to tell you more than just looking at the animal and I think that the excitement of things like the Census of Marine Life, a recent programme which is mapping the seas, shows that you'll know more than ever before, but it just brings up new questions. So why, where, how and when all these animals got to where they've got to, it just means that it's getting more exciting. <laughs>